So let's now create another URL. And in order to create another URL, you need to understand the structure of URLs in Django. So the structure is the following. First of all, whenever you want to create, whenever you want to create a URL, you need to specify uh, the the URL of the complete app. So here we have an app. We we have an app called Block. Therefore, the the URL is going to be for a block forward slash and then whenever you want to create another URL inside that app inside that blog app you need to specify that in the URLs.py so for example if I want to create a URL called specific in the app specific it's gonna be under the blog so it's gonna be defined in the URLs.py so we have two URLs fi uh, files the first one it belongs to the project and this one is going to be used whenever we have whenever we create an app a new app so here as you can see we have a, an app called block and usually usually we we create one app sometimes we might need to create more apps but whenever you create an app you need to specify the main URL of that app and then whenever you want to create URLs uh, that uh, belong to a specific app, you need to be you need to define them in the URLs file of that app. So here, of the blog, of the blog, we need to create more uh, URLs. Let's here create a URL called specific. So here, I'm going to say comma, and then I'm going to say path, and then the URL is going to be named specific, and then comma, and then the function that I want to execute upon going to this page, uh, go upon going to this URL. So I'm going to say uh, views dot specific, and then I'm going to give a name to this URL. I'm going to name it name specific. So now we need to create the function. We need to create the specific function. So in the views now, I'm going to here say def specific. And then I'm going to pass the request. And then I'm just going to say return. And then I'm going to return the HTTP response. And then I'm going to say, this is the specific URL. Let me, name, let me now save everything. I'm going to click on file, file and then save all. And then I'm going to uh, run my uh, I'm gonna run my server. I'm gonna here click on view and then terminal. I'm gonna and then I'm gonna run my server. So here I'm gonna say python manage.py and then run server. Now let me hit enter. And as you can see the server is now up and running. Let me copy this URL and head on over to the uh, browser. Now in the browser as you can see here, let me go to the blog. I'm gonna say blog. If I go to the blog here, it's gonna say this is my first URL. Now, in order to go to, to the specific URL, you need to say blog and then forward slash and then specific. Specific. Now, if I hit enter, as you can see, it's going to say this is the specific URL. So this is the structure of URLs in Django. We have two way. To, we have two places to. We have two places to define our, our URLs. The first one is in the my project, which is used to define the uh, the the main URL of the of the app that you have or the apps that you have, and the URLs that uh, a separate and a separate URLs file that belongs to each specific app.